Hi guys, today I wanted to show you my black Kate Spade zipper planner. Now I just recently did a video on this, but this planner has evolved so much over the last couple of days. I thought that I would show you some changes that I made inside of it. And I also wanted to try to attempt to do a plan with me. I can't promise that it'll come out perfect, but I'm going to give it a shot. So this is my planner that I carry on the go. And yes, even though it has all this crazy stuff hanging out of it, I still put it in my tote bag. I leave my zipper undone on the top portion so that I can have paper clips and ribbons and a tassel and it doesn't interfere. So I just do not fully zip it. So I'm going to unzip it and we'll open it up and I'll show you what's inside. A lot of this that you're seeing here, you've already seen in my last video. Nothing has really changed on the left side. I will zoom in so you can take a closer look. Uh, one of the things that I added just recently is this planner tassel and I love it. It is from Lula's Planner Designs and it is gorgeous guys. It has sparkle in it and it's just really wild and crazy and I love it. And it had this cute little penguin on it that matched perfect with the theme that I have going on in this planner. And it also matched really well to the pink that's in the Black Kate Spade. And I just love this. I'm gonna show you a close up of these sparkles because they are so pretty. Look at the sparkles. I love them. I adore them. So that is definitely a new ad. And we also have the matching paper clip. This penguin is adorable and he matches perfectly in my setup. And I just slide him in the pockets. I had mentioned this in my last uh, setup video that I don't like to actually clip on the pockets because it makes indentations in the leather. So for now, I just kind of slide them in and it works for me. They stay in there even when I zip it up and I put it in my tote bag. So I do love that addition. We have definitely um, gotten a lot more going on at the top here. This cute blue fox is from Red Lear. I love her shop. I'm new to it on Etsy. Some of you may know it, but this fox is adorable. I also have this Let It Snow uh, ribbon clip, which I'm in love with. This is also a new shop to me. It's called Twister's Plans. I just recently started ordering from her and her ribbons are gorgeous. And the price is absolutely phenomenal on them. So I would definitely suggest that shop to take a look if you're into ribbons. Look how full this ribbon is. It pretty much covers like the whole entire top of this planner. Now this has not changed. You guys saw this dashboard in my last planner setup. I just added to my winter checklist so there's nothing new in this section and I'm just going to flip to my monthly. This you guys saw very briefly as well in my last video. I just added a couple of more things. I try to stick with really small stickers in this section because the monthly in the personal size is definitely small, but it's definitely doable and workable. Um, the inserts that I use for this are from So Much Crafting. And once I got the So Much Crafting inserts, I was able to really do awesome things with this planner. If you're curious about anything else that's inside this portion of the planner besides the ones that I mentioned, just jump back to my last video. I go into detail with everything and how I set it up. So we're gonna flip to the current week. That's what I use my peach palms for. My peach palms help me get to the current week. I just flip over to it. This is the one you guys have recently seen on Instagram. I absolutely love the way this week came out. I used the week on four pages and the reason why that is called that is because your week spans across four full pages inside the planner. So we have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you're hitting four pages completely. So it's called a week on four pages vertical. And I love this style because all of my Erin Condren size stickers fit in this. I will show you a blank one, which is this week and the week that we're going to be planning. It's a little hard to see, but these boxes are exactly full size boxes, just like in the Erin Condren planner. Now you only get two per day, but I love that you get a sidebar here. And just with small adjustments, it's very easy to plan in just two boxes 
versus three. I absolutely love these inserts. I cannot plan without them. I am going to continue to use them and uh, for all of 2016 for my personal size planner and my A5 size planner. So I do do two spreads per week, but I really enjoy doing that. So it's been working out really great for me. So let me take this week out and we'll get into the plan with me. This is the whole week. We have Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, and then this is flips for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you have your whole week on all of these pages. We're going to just start with the first two. Now, I'm not going to be writing in what's happening for this week. I'm just going to do a general plan with me of how I start, where I put my washi tape and everything. It's probably going to be a long video. I'm going to try and speed up certain sections, but we're going to start with Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I'm going to pull out this week's. Now, this is a new shot for me. I have not used this before, and I probably will not pronounce this correctly, but it's a Asini, I'm thinking. And I saw this set here on Etsy during Black Friday, and I thought it was really cute. I love the colors. I think it's going to go really well with my planner, which is the black, the pink, the blue and the green, it matches. It has all the exact colors that are in my current setup. So I thought that was really cool. So we are gonna use these stickers. I have quite a bit of them. So let's get into this. The first thing I'm gonna do is start with washi tape. And this may not look very Christmassy, but it goes really well with these stickers. So I'm gonna stick with it. I like to lay washi right down in this lower section. Guys, this is where I will probably speed up this video because it will take forever if I keep it in real time. So just be patient with me and I am going to lay down this washi. Okay, as you can see, I have the washi laid down for the week. I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It spans across all four pages. And now I'm gonna pull out my stickers and I'm going to decorate this first side here, which is the sidebar. I'll zoom in a little so it's easier to see. I like to use the decorative portion of a sticker kit. A lot of sticker kits will have one sheet where it just has um, different little items like this, and I really like that. I think that that works always well in this sidebar area. And I zoomed out a little, and I zoomed out a little bit so you can see the entire sidebar. I'm gonna use this wreath sticker because it's super cute. I love it and it just reminds me of Christmas and we're gonna put it right there because it's adorable. Now, I do wanna put something in the center of it and I'm not sure, I think I might do the deer head but I also like this little peppermint as well. I think that's super cute. So I think I might just peel that off and put it in the center because it works really well. And I like that. Now guys, this is definitely not, for me, a perfect science. I will peel up things constantly. Sometimes just because I stick something down somewhere, it doesn't mean that it is gonna stay there. Um, I do a lot of lifting and changing. Um, a lot of people question how you move stickers around. My solution to that is this right here. It's called Undo Remover. I purchased this at Michael's. When a sticker is down, you can use this to remove it without harming any of your paper or anything around it. Now, there is a version of it at Hobby Lobby, which is this one here. And I'll tell you guys, I don't know if I got a faulty bottle or what, but this one does not work as well. I only like the one from Michael's. Unfortunately, my closest Michaels is a three hour round trip. So I only purchased one last time I went. I'm kind of running low and it's a little scary, but I will be in St. Louis on a Saturday or Sunday and I'm gonna pick up probably about five more bottles. <laughs> yeah, I said five. <laughs> okay, so back to the planning. 
Okay, uh, Monday I'm going to be going to CrossFit in the morning. Even though I have a bad foot, it does not matter. I will be going to Strength and Mobility, and they help people that are not able to be fully mobile, and that is perfect for me. So I'm going to be doing that on Monday. I'm going to use these stickers here at the bottom of the whole entire planner. I usually don't use this type of sticker, but this week I'd like to try it. So I'm going to give this a shot. We're going to put these down at the bottom. They do take up a lot of space, but I'm okay with that because I think they'll look cute and I really don't have anything else to put at the bottom this week. So I'm okay with that. So I'm going to stick these all down for the entire week. Okay, I have my uh, food, workout, and hydrate stickers down. I really like the way they came out. I overlapped the washi just a little bit on the bottom, as you can see, and it looks really cute and fun. So I'm going to continue here on the sidebar. I'm kind of all over the place, guys, but that's usually how I plan, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to do a to-do list here on this side. I like to have a to-do list, even though I end up putting those items throughout the week as completed. I like to have one spot where there is a to-do list. So we're going to go with these here. And I think I'm going to go with this blue one. I really like it. I really like the way I've incorporated blue in this planner. And I'm just going to stick it here. And I do turn my inserts sideways to line things up. I'm not exactly sure why. They either have to be sideways or they have to be upside down. So I'm going to continue working on this sidebar. You guys can just watch. I'm going to speed it up. Okay, that is the sorry bar complete. I feel like it's missing something right down in this section, but I can always go back and fill that in. The next thing I'm going to do is do my to-do headers across the top. I really like to do my to-do headers every day. Looking at the kit, I'm noticing now that I only have six left. I used one over here, so I'm going to remove this one to use across the top, and I will put something different here, and I will show you guys how I do that. Here is my undo. I'm going to unscrew it. Don't get nervous, guys. It looks a little scary. I'm going to lift up an edge and let the liquid work its magic and use the little spatula to lift the sticker. It comes off immediately. Yes, it looks extremely scary. Look at that huge mess with all that oil. Just give it a few seconds. It will dry. I also give the sticker a few seconds to dry. If you give the uh, sticker a few seconds to dry, most of the time the tackiness will come back. If it doesn't come back, I just end up using a glue stick. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to reposition this sticker where I want it since I made a mistake and put it in the wrong spot. As you can see in just little time that we're talking, that oil has dried up off of that sticker and you can no longer see it. And instead in its place, I'm gonna put one of these little things. We don't have to have it say to do. I kind of like the way that looks better anyway. So I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna continue and do my to do headers across all of my pages. Okay, all of my to-do headers are on. 
Now I'm happy with that. I'm going to put some decorative boxes in. I'm really loving these stickers right here. I'm loving the brightness of them. I am going to be putting them in this middle section. I might put a couple on the top section. I'm not one to just have to-do checklists across the top and decorative boxes in the middle. I like to switch it up a little. It just depends. I will put a checklist on Tuesday because I know that's going to be a really, really busy day for me. So I'm going to take one of these green ones and I'm going to add that to Tuesday because I know I'm going to have a checklist of things that I will have to do for that day. Oh, and that's totally crooked and that's okay. First, I always attempt to pull up that sticker. It feels just a little too stuck for me. I'm going to take out my undo again. And you guys will see this a lot. I'm sorry, guys. I am definitely not a perfect planner. I like to just go with the flow. If it looks good, it looks good. If it goes down crooked, it goes down crooked. As you can see, the liquid is drying. I'm going to take it and attempt it again and try and actually put it on straight this time. It still looks crooked. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I readjusted it, so I like the way that looks a lot better. Um, I really like the snowflake box. Unfortunately, we don't have snow, but, and see this sticker here I can tell is lifting up a little bit because I used the undo. So I'm just gonna take my glue stick and I'm just gonna tap it on that glue real quickly and that solves the problem. Anytime the undo makes the sticker no longer sticky, I just glue it down so that's not a problem. Um, I want to put some full boxes down. I absolutely love these full boxes. They are so pretty. Um, I can't really decide which ones I want. I have another one here with candy canes, and I have more here. I kind of really like the ones that have the mi middle shaded out sometimes because you can write things in, but then other times I like the decorative ones, and then I will just layer a half box on top of it to write on. So it just depends. I think uh, for today, because I don't have a super busy day, um, I'm going to put this pink snowflake one because I love it. It's so cute. And I'm going to put that down right here. Okay, love the way that came out. And I am going to put little things across the top on some of these, not all of them, because I only have six left. I might put the days down just to fill in the gap across the top of the box. It really doesn't matter to me. The todays might work because I really like the green of them. So I'm just going to continue and kind of flip around and put some boxes down. Okay, I have some boxes down, guys, and there is no rhyme or reason to how I did this. I kind of just put in where I thought that I was having a large amount of things to do where I'm going to put list, so that's not a problem. Um, I can most definitely tell you that on Sunday, I'm going to have a list of things to do as well. I'm going to put down this really cute blue one here. There will definitely be items that have to be done on Sunday. I'm going to put those down. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is put my um, today headers across everything. So let's put those in.
Okay, my to-do headers are on. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to do a weekend banner. So my weekend banner is right here. I'm going to put it across my Saturday and Sunday. I really think that's super cute. Next, I'm going to put in my countdown stickers. I'm going to put them across the tops. I'm going to try to squeeze them in. Um, if not, I will find another space. So I'm going to kind of just look to where our countdown is because I am kind of off. So we are picking up on, oh my gosh, 11 days till Christmas. I'm a little panicked. That just panicked me. <laughs> Maybe it was better that I didn't look. I want to add this little peppermint candy right up here between the two days because it's cute and then I'm going to flip because these two go together and see if there's anything I want to add there. I will do another peppermint candy between my weekend days and I really like this holly. It's a little bit on the larger side but I think if I kind of just play with it. I can get it to work right there and I really like it. I really love this guy which is the little nutcracker. Unfortunately I don't have a perfect spot to put him yet. I think what I'm going to do is wait and see if I can squeeze him in somewhere where I don't have plans for the day. If my Friday ends up being really slow, I can put him right here in this box. I can put him on the top. So I am gonna wait with him. I also have these flag banners that I wanna be putting in as I do stuff. I also have some half boxes I wanna use. Um, I'm probably done with the full boxes so that I will just file these away in my um, collection of Christmas stickers for next year and then I have these half boxes that I will use throughout the week. I'm going to put these in my planner now. It looks super cute with this planner. The colors work really nicely and I'm really happy with how it came out. And that's it guys, like I said, a minimal plan with me because I didn't do any writing and I haven't added in anything. Today is only Monday, so there's not much happening so far. So that was it guys, I hope you like this. If you have any questions, just please leave comments below. Bye.